Hello. Once again, you found Modern Life for the 70s Mind. Good job. Glad you found me. I'm going to jump right into this because this might be kind of a long video because we're going to be listening to three different videos today. And when it comes to covers, we're going to talk about covers today. There's that forever debate on whether they should sing it like the original or just change it up and make it their own. For me, it really goes kind of both ways. Some songs do well making it their own and some i think just should be kept to what they originally sounded like for me there's one exception and that's carpenters covers i've never heard any artist ever sing a carpenter song where they made it their own and that i liked it it just never sounded good to me at all so when it comes to the carpenters i want it to sound as closely as possible to karen carpenter because as far as I'm concerned, there aren't a lot of people that can sing at the level that she did. I'd heard, I've heard from a number of you that you would like to see me react to some Carpenter's covers. And most recently from Ron. So Ron, thank you for kind of thank you for kind of pushing me in this direction. I'm going to jump on it today. So we're going to cover three different artists doing Carpenter songs. The artists are Harriet, Tori Holub, and Chloe from Solitary Carpenter's Tribute. I don't know any of these people. Um, I've heard some Carpenter's covers in the past, but it was a long time ago. So I'm hoping I never heard these before. If I did, I probably wouldn't even remember if I did or not. So, all right, let me get my headphones on. We're gonna get into the first one. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back for the first of three Karen Carpenter covers. This first one's gonna be a UK artist by the name of Harriet. Other than she's from UK, I don't know much about her. I know one thing, she's gonna be singing Goodbye to Love, something I have quoted many times in my life. So let's get going with this. This is Harriet covering uh, Karen Carpenter. Here we go. I'll say goodbye to love no one ever cared if I should live or die Time and time again the chance for love has passed me by And all I know of love is how to live without it I just can't seem to find it Really pretty so I've made my mind up, I must live my life alone And though it's not the easy way, I guess I've always known I'd say goodbye to love There are no tomorrows for this heart of mine Surely time will lose these bitter memories and I find that there is someone to believe in And to live for Something I could live for All the years of useless search have finally reached an end Loneliness and empty days will be my only friend From this day love is forgotten Best I can. Hmm. I'm liking this. I'm just going to go ahead and play this whole thing through. We got three videos to get through, so I'm not going to stop in each one. We'll just play it through and then we'll talk about it. What lies in the future is a mystery to us all. No one can predict the wheel of fortune as it falls There may come a time when I will see that I've been wrong But for now this is my song And it's goodbye to love I'll say goodbye to love
it. So that's the end. That was an interesting ending. I kind of like that. All right. So I was making a couple notes here. Um, I think, was is it me or was this a little slower than the Karen Carpenter's version? Um, to me, it just seemed slower. You know, I had read somewhere, I should have mentioned this early on, uh, that she doesn't try to copy Karen Carpenter too closely. I got to be honest, though. I'm not seeing that. She had a lot of the similar vocal traits, if you will, that Karen Carpenter has. And I would think she was trying to do that so that she would sound more like her, especially since she's singing the Carpenter song. She did make it slightly her own, but I just kind of feel like much of that was just too close not to really say that she's making it her own. <laughs> I'm not sure that came out right, but it just it sounded too much like Karen Carpenter, bottom line. By doing that, though, and by not having a big... Uh, the orchestra picked up at the end, but a lot of the song, it was just the piano and kind of a light background orchestra. By doing that, I think she really put the entire weight of this version of this song uh, it, flat onto her voice. I mean, it, it, there wasn't a lot of other things to listen to except her voice. Uh, there was some harmony, I think, at the end, and it sounded like there was some layering. But since this is the piano sessions, I'm guessing they kept it more kind of like unplugged, if you will. And I think it sounded wonderful. To me, it seemed like her voice was maybe slightly higher than Karen's. I'm not sure, but it, to me, it sounded like it. And it's been a while since I listened to a Carpenter song, so I could be completely off base. You notice that, though, I think, especially when she tried to hit those lower notes. It just didn't seem as full or as bassy as Karen would sound. But with that said, I, I'm being way too picky here <laughs> because her voice was simply beautiful there were parts of that song that i'm like oh my gosh she had wonderful control of her vibrato when she used it she didn't overuse it which i liked her pitch to me sounded spot on everything was just perfect bottom line this was an absolutely wonderful tribute to karen carpenter amazing singer i really like this okay let me get my headphones Keep them on, <laughs> but let me change up the video and uh, we'll get to our second artist. Hold on. Okay, we are back for the second Karen Carpenter cover. You know, it's funny. Every time I finish a video, I'm always like, well, I'm going to take my headphones off and we'll be back for final thoughts. And this wasn't the case today. So I was a creature of habit there. I apologize for that little slip up. So this next artist is Tori Hollow. This is the one Ron recommended. And said she was really good. So she is going to be singing something. Um, let's see. Sorry. Uh, we, we've only just begun. So let's get into this uh, right now. Shall we? Here we go. It looks like he's playing both instruments. We've only just begun to live White lace and promises Oh my God. A kiss for luck and we're on our way Wow. We fly so many roads to choose. We start off walking and learn to Watching the signs along the way Talking it over, just the two of us Working together day to day Together Oh my And when the evening comes We smile 
I'm dumbfounded. I feel like I just watched an actual Karen Carpenter video. I got to be honest. I am blown away on what a beautiful voice that Tori has. And that's a huge understatement. Ron, thanks for recommending this. This was incredible. Where do you even begin? begin with this <laughs> anybody um i've been listening to carpenter's music since i was young uh, quite young and this is the first time in so many years or at least in my recollection that i can truly say that i felt like the carpenters were here with us like they were still here she had oh man she had absolute control of the song from Note one, she held the notes uh, like Karen did. She had um, like a similar timbre that Karen had. She had, I, I believe, to be really similar, if not exact same pitch to her voice. It was just Karen. Unbelievable. And then that's half the song. Then you got the other half. Uh, and I have to mention this is James Wilkes. That guy seems to have put all this together, and it was a genius. Everything from the harmonies, the instrumentation, and even the overall flow of the song, I think, was perfect. Like the Mamas and the Papas, the Carpenters were really good at layering their vocals and their harmonies and stuff like that. And this video did such an amazing job of showing all the different layers of vocals and the instruments that were put into this amazing to watch it was really something this guy is a a genius i don't know anything about him i'm gonna have to research him if this is something he does on a regular basis or what but it sounds like except for the horns i think he did almost everything wow um anyways <laughs> i'm gonna have to give this video or the, this song a listen again but without watching the video I think I'll be able to better focus on just the vocals and not watching everything. That was kind of like just a bombardment of senses there listening to that. I think it would be disrespectful, and I want to I really want to say this. I think it would be disrespectful to say that Tori is another Karen Carpenter. I don't like saying that. I hope that she continues to put out her own music um so that people can appreciate Tori for being Tori and not the new Karen Carpenter. Because I think listening to her sing, she really deserves everything she could get. She owns her own tone. She owns her own like pitch. She owns her own range. You can't just imitate that. You're born with that. That's just her. So I hope people ultimately see her as her. 
and then, like I said, not Karen Carpenter. Simply amazing. This is definitely one I'm going to be listening to again. And darn it, I just fell in love with another singer. Her voice is crazy good. So, all right. I will keep my headphones on, and we're going to get to our third artist. Third and final. I'll be right back. Okay, we are on to number three. So this is Chloe from, I think I might at the beginning said Solitary, but I, I, maybe it's Solitaire, Carpenter's Tribute. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to go with that. Solitary doesn't sound right in that sense. So anyways, she is going to be singing Only Yesterday, which is from what I would call a little bit more of an upbeat song. So, all right, I'm looking forward to this. So again, this is Chloe. Um, this is our third and final one. Here we go. After long enough of being alone This is going to be good already. Everyone must face their share of loneliness In my own time, nobody knew The pain I was going through And waiting was all my heart could do all I had until you came Maybe you can see how much you mean to me You were the dawn breaking the night The promise of long and light Very controlled artist. You know what? Listening to this, the um, Carpenters really did have 
an amazing amount of wonderful songs that came out. Just crazy to think back and all the hits that they had. So we are definitely, without a doubt, three for three today on these artists. I hope um, at least a few of you hung in here until the end to hear all three, because I think it was a really wonderful. And I think all three takes on the Carpenter songs were just amazing. Chloe does an absolutely wonderful job here. Um, she's not the most expressive singer, I'll say, <laughs> that I've ever seen. But um, when it comes to her vocals, and, and I was trying to close my eyes a little bit and listen to her voice, A+. plus, Just a beautiful, beautiful voice. And I think she really flat out nailed, especially like those lower notes, um, especially at the beginning of the song. I think it was just she introduced me to this song in a, such a perfect way. And I think it just kept me interested in the song right from the start. And then... I think almost equally impressive. Um, when a song gets faster and more upbeat, I think it gets a little more difficult to really hang on to if you're trying to cover somebody. It's really difficult to stick to that sound. And I think she did uh, an amazing job. If you're going to stray from the sound, that's when you're going to see it. And I think she did a wonderful job of hanging in there really throughout the song. So... I rarely comment on appearances. I just don't like doing that. At least I do to myself. But <laughs> but I got to tell you, her amazing eyes in this just drew me in even deeper into the song. Really just beautiful eyes. Okay, so we've heard now three artists all covering Karen Carpenter. You know, I just wanted to say one more quick thing about Tori, that last video we did. What was really impressive about that was that it wasn't like a karaoke track. They did all this themselves from the ground up, and that's just ama amazing, just wonderful. Bottom line, to see younger people, at least younger than me, take such an interest in this incredible music and to appreciate it at the level that they do is just so incredibly satisfying to me. I have so many memories of listening to the Carpenters as a younger younger person. I mean, I had all their music on, like, cause, um, uh, eight tracks. I had them on cassette. I had them on album. I already, I still have them on CD, and I probably stream them as well. So um, just so many memories came back to me as I, like, listen to a lot of these covers. And, you know, definitely core memories unlocked here tonight. And I really hope that you guys appreciate this as um, much as I do. I, I'd want to rate these guys, like, one, two, three. I just don't think I will here, though. I'm not going to do that because they were all wonderful. So, okay, guys, if you appreciated this, and there will be no final thoughts, uh, if you appreciated this, please give me a thumbs up. And... Click that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I release new content. Remember, only life is priceless. Please make each and every day count. God bless all of you. Peace out. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.